Hi, let's have a look at your assignment for family sociology. Now in this assignment we're going to do something a little bit different. It's looking at low-income families and I've created a number of documents for you. When researchers look at family income they often divide things up into re uh, divide things up for research purposes looking at things like um, these divisions are called quintals. Now these are categories of dividing a hundred percent into of a population into five categories. 20% in each category or 20% in each quintal. For this assignment you're going to be in quintal one which happens to be the lowest quintal. Now I'll show you for example um, in this particular part of the document that you will be looking at later you're seeing all five quintals. Now I'm using 2016 data and I know it's a little old. The new data came out in 2020. I have not had a time, chance to compile all the information into new data. So we're going to use 2016 data. So when you look at all five quintals, you're going to be in quintal one, but I've shown you that there are other four others and it can give you some idea of how the rest of the population is doing and I'm sure you can see just from these two, or this one document, that this is group one, this quintal one, is at a considerable disadvantage. Now, the working sheet that you will have will be, uh, will help you, and it's gonna break things down from an annual into a monthly. This is a separate little uh, working sheet. And it looks like what your costs are and what your income is um, for a month, okay? Uh, these will be posted in what I call the group zone. You'll find this in weekly learnings at the very top. And in group zone, uh, group zone you'll find um, the documents that are going to help you with this uh, assignment. One, you're going to get the Canada's Food Guide. Now, part of that reason is you must make your weekly menus based on the Canada's Food Guide as best you can. Each member of the group, doesn't matter how many members in the group there are. There will be groups of two through to groups of five. I've tried to put you in groups according to your program as best as I can. So if you are a group of two, provide two menus. If you're a group of three, three menus. A group of four, four menus. And a group of five, five menus. But you use the Canada's Food Guide as your guide. Another document I have is a uh, Canada's Food Guide presentation. It's a PowerPoint put out by the Canada's Food Guide in Canada, uh, walking you through what the expectations and clarifications are for the Canada's Food Guide. Then I put together two other PDFs. One's called uh, Consequences of Poverty. So what are the consequences of poverty based on research? And Patterns of Poverty. Who, where, what the patterns, the conditions by which some people find themselves in and what people are most often going to be in poverty. Household expense by quintal 2016 data, household expenses by quintal. That's a broader document. And then I have a smaller document which will be household expenses by quintal uh, 2016. Uh, and then the last one will be a document that's called quintal one assignment overview in your scenario. I'll clarify this in a little bit. Now the first thing that you need to do is to post a group contract. Now I will put in the group zone a group contract. It needs to be posted in your group's wiki. Again, if you watch the Blackboard overview, um, I walk through all of these things with you. So if you are watching this video and that's not sounding familiar, please watch the Blackboard overview for this course. In it, I explain where you can find your wiki, where the file exchange is. So your contract needs to be put into the file exchange by February 5th, 5 p.m., no later. I can go into your file exchange and pick it up from there. Um, in the contract, each member is indicating how it's best to be in touch with one another because you guys need to be in touch with one another. Not a whole lot, but you will need to collaborate towards the end. Um, so in that, you put what's the best way to be in touch with you so your group knows how to do so. And it's not because I'm a part of your group, but it's how you can communicate effectively with each other and what's the most reliable way to be in touch with one another. Um, I don't like to see things left to the last minute, so there's usually a problem with groups when things get left to the last minute. 
That's why within the group contract, it indicates when your first meeting is, your date and time, when the second meeting is, date and time, and subsequent meetings. Now, I know everything's being done virtually, so I'm not going to tell you how you should do it, but your wiki is certainly a place where some of this can take place. Again, you may want to watch the Blackboard overview to see how it is that makes sense to me. Now, the contract that I put together here for you will help you with some of that. So the group members plan um, is, um, the group members, your plan is you need to sign up, um, sign up the group contract, post it in as a PDF. You could take a picture of it because I know that if you print it and fill it out with one another in some capacity, it might be difficult to post, but either a PDF or, or a photograph is fine. Um, but it goes into the file exchange and that's important. That's where I can get access to it. Now there isn't a part of the contract is a contingency. That is to say, if someone chooses not to participate or fails to do anything, your group's consequences are the deciding factors for the members. You guys come up with the consequences for non-participation, whether that's a grade of zero or whether that's some other consequence, whatever the consequence is, is what I will do to support short of anything illegal or unethical. Okay, and then there's this, um, so this, um, there's another important date for you to remember, F February 5th to get your contract in. Um, week eight, March 15th, I will be putting in your file exchange a crisis. A crisis is gonna hit the family. So one of the things you're gonna have is, um, a scenario. I've made a scenario of Bill and Anne, and Bill and Anne um, have had some difficulties. They are in th themselves in Quintal One, and so your planning, your menus will be based on their income. Those are the people in your family, and in week eight, I'm going to post a crisis that you're going to have to deal with in your family of Bill and Anne and his and their two kids. Okay, so. We go forward and to remind you that this is going to, this gets handed in as an assignment in PDF format, April 9th, 5 p.m. in your file exchange. Now, when, when I post in the file exchange the crisis that your family's going to experience, your job is not to change the menus, but to look at your budget in relationship to the crisis and reflect on that. Reflect on how was this, you know, how did this crisis affect our planning and what has it done to our family and what implications are there to our family? Now, in the folder assignment, you'll also get a case study scenario, which is what I'm uh, alluded to. Um, there are two, um, there are two documents that are stats cam based. Those are the two that are the data quintal based household um, information. And the Bill and, and, and Anne is who the scenario is about and their two kids. And it walks you through what's happened to them, what their circumstances and considerations, um, uh, what you need to keep in mind when doing this assignment. So please don't deviate from the scenario. Bill and Anne's life in that scenario don't get changed, okay? So for example, um, you might consider that you might see a really good deal on some food item and buy a bunch thinking that you'll just put them in your freezer. Remember, they only have a refrigerator and the freezer that sits above it. They don't have a, a freezer. They can't afford one. So you can't buy bulk and do a lot of storing, unfortunately. So that's your assignment. Now, I've indicated that when things are due, all things get posted in a PDF format. Now, that's also uh, what's also important is that um, the, the family that you are representing in Quintal One doesn't have a re reliable means of transportation anymore. So they can't go around to five or six grocery stores getting the best deal. The minimum you can do in this scenario is to go to two different grocery stores. You still need to maintain the budget as best you can and you need to stick with the Canada's food guide as best you can. Now, of course, if you have struggles in this assignment, trying to meet all the, you know, make the needs met for Bill and Ann and their kids, then that's what you're gonna put in your summary. This is the rubrics of how marks are distributed. So the best you, so do the best you can, ideally, 
Go to the grocery store when you're shopping on your own and take pictures of food that you think would be best suited for Bill and Ann. You can certainly make sure you, when you take pictures, take pictures of the price as well. So you can use that. I want to see the price and I want to see the picture of the item. Now you can use flyers and you can use um, apps. Just make sure you're only shopping at two stores. Okay. Now I'm going to post an exemplar, an example of a, an assignment that was done that did very well. And I'll post that as a file in your file exchange as well. So you can see how other, other groups who have done well have done theirs. It doesn't mean you need to do it exactly the same. And I've blocked out some areas that I think you need to be creative on your own, but you can use it as a guide as to how to organize. Okay. Now, one other thing you may um, get from this as well is that Bill and Ann might, might have to take advantage of some community services. So if you're familiar with or can research out community resources that will help them, uh, feel free to add that into your summary or into your assignment as to what you did. Okay, I hope this has been helpful for you. I look forward to seeing the results. Please remember to do your contract and honor the contract. Failing to honor the contract means you'll be failing to contribute to the group, which means you're failing to get a mark for the assignment in many cases. All right, so good luck, everybody. Stick with the scenario. Please read it carefully. Be familiar with them, Bill and Ann and the kids, and then be prepared for the crisis in week eight. Good luck and have fun.